Okay, welcome back, YouTubers. So I went to the store. This is um after I did a deep conditioner and rinsed it out, my curls came back. So I didn't over process it. And as I was telling y'all, at the end, don't keep redoing the ends because you want to leave room for the color. If you, you know, if you do an accidental color overlap, because if it gets too light, then the hair will break off. So that's why I left room for it to, you know, uh, to do a um. Uh -huh. accidental color overlap that's why I had it that brown in the first place but because as it grows out and you color it you know it's pretty when you have different browns so if this if it's this light at the ends and it gets back to that dark brown in the roots it'll be okay okay you guys so now that I did process one which was the retouch now I'm going to tone it to the color that I want a toner is not a dye it's not permanent it's just um it's the same thing as a rinse it rinses out as you wash your hair it's like a protective layer just like a deep conditioner and it's also is considered a conditioner that will protect your color protect your hair it's an extra layer but it will it's similar to like putting kool-aid in your hair and dyeing it or something like that but it protects your hair it sits on top of whatever you did and it protects it so now I'm about to do that and I'm going to tone it the color that I've been telling y'all that I wanted. Since it didn't, since I accidentally some kind of way, I don't know, it turned quicker than I thought it would. It's like I sat down, but I didn't sit down at all. Okay, you guys. So I went to the store. <clears throat> Again, this is what I got for a toner. I got Beijing. See how it says semi permanent, meaning it has no like ammonia. See, no ammonia, no peroxide, anti breakage formula. This is almost like a deep conditioner and it has coconut and shea butter. So, amber, vivid shades, Beijing. So, this will protect my hair. This is the only semi permanent colors are the only uh, safe. Thing to put on top of a color to get the color that you want if you didn't get the color you initially wanted. You can either put it in the bowl after you've washed the bowl out good. You can either put it in a bowl and uh, applicate it with the uh, with the brush, or you can just uh, squeeze it right out of the bottle. If you have long hair to stretch it, you can put just wet your hair. You know, if you want to stretch it, if you have long hair. I'm not trying to stretch it. I don't have long hair, so, you know, you can wet your hair first. My hair would have been wet, but um, I walked to the store to get a toner because initially I thought that I wasn't going to need one, but some kind of way all that talking, I guess, I, um, I was watching it turn, but when I rinsed it out, it was lighter than it looked, so I don't know. It's cute. I like it, but I want to get toned it all one color. So that's what this is going to do, and I'm going to show y'all. So put on your gloves first after you wash your hands. I just washed my hands before I turn the video on. So make sure you have your gloves on. Okay. Um, you might want to put a towel to protect the person's shirt. It's my shirt if it's someone else, so I don't really you know, I have a towel, but I really don't. I'm not really tripping. I don't want to get all hot and stuff. This is my favorite sweater, but I didn't get no bleach on it, so I assume I'm not going to get none of this on me either. But, you know. So, what you want to do is get some grease or some Vaseline petroleum jelly. And you want to do the same thing you did with the bleach. But the difference is, you don't have to put this inside of your hair. You only want to put this on your edges on it. You know your ears because you don't want the color to accidentally dye your ears. It smells really good. This is the hair food, and this doesn't burn at all. The um the rinses they don't burn at all. If you feel burning, then you need to just rinse that on out because it's not it doesn't have any peroxide in it. There's no, no ingredients in it that should make it burn. It's not permanent. As you wash your hair, it comes out. It just protects what I just did. So eventually, um, 
when I keep washing my hair, it's going to turn back this color. But I don't, like I said, I want the color I want. I got a job, you guys. Thanks for y'all's prayer. So, I want the color I want. This one, you can start in the back order, friend. It doesn't matter. This color is um, it's not going to hurt you or nothing. Also, the directions are right here. I always read the directions. I've been doing this so long, that's why I didn't really even read them. But it says, with gloves, apply a generous amount of Beijing semi-permanent hair color directly from the bottle to shampoo, towel, dry hair. Work color into hair, but do not rub it to scalp. Comb through to ensure um, color is completely evenly saturated. Process for 25 minutes at room temperature. So, the, it was dry. And it was shampooed. Now, it might have dried out a little bit more. So, maybe I could just stick a little water. You know, just to kind of damp it out a little. Since they said towel dry hair. Just to kind of make it a look. Because when your hair is towel dry, it's still kind of moist a little. Just a little water. Because I do have thick hair still, even though I dyed it. You change the color? Huh? You change the color? Yeah. I'm, I'm doing the retouch because the roots were black. Looks good. <laughs> Lana likes the blonde. <laughs> well, I'm trying to turn it back brown because I got a job. Let me come behind you. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this in now. This is um, Beijing A4 Amber. Start putting this in. Excuse me. Okay, so I'm going to um, twist the bottle. I'm going to put it in with the applicator because it's a lot easier. You can start in the front or the back with this. It, it is non damaging. It protects your hair. It protects your hair. It's like puts a protective coat. I already explained that. So let me start the video because I know y'all are like, okay, you, you just love to talk to us, but you are not about action, girl. So this is how I'm going to get that color that I kept crying and I wanted in the last video, crying about. But this is really pretty though. Some people, they would leave it like this, but I still, they have the clear one too, like this. If you don't want to put color, you like the blonde, they have a clear uh, one. A clear semi-permanent, they call it a uh, just a cellophane, instead of calling it a... Uh, semi-permanent color you can get the clear one if you, and then it still will protect your hair you can buy the clear one you don't have to buy the one with color if you like this color I like this color too but it just got a job and it's gonna be my first day soon so I don't want to scare them you know they'll be like dang she come back was her hair that color did it like what is going on did she go swimming while she was gone or what so I'm gonna have the same color that I had for the interview that worked for me, so I need to keep that good look. You can just kind of put this all over. There's no, you just don't get any eye. You guys. But you could, um, you could, like for a regular person, you can split it in four and do it section by section. But because my hair is so short, you can just rub this all over. Just squirt it in there and rub it all over. And it's not, it's not going to mess it up or nothing. I want that darker color. It's, this is the color. I want the dark color that I had on the ends. I want that color because that's the color I got, at my, that I got my job with. And I had to go see my boss upon them at work. And I don't want them to be culture shocked. Like, I don't know about her. She's really getting, doing some strange stuff with herself. We're going to keep it copacetic. professional that, there's nothing wrong with that blonde though I mean it's actually really pretty I don't think they would really say nothing but I mean I'm new I'm not trying to cause my problems I'm new you do that after you've been working there a little while start changing up and stuff but you still don't want to change up too too much too quick now once they get used to you changing all the time they oh that's, that's just her she likes to change it up you can just rub it all around 
It's not going to hurt you or nothing. It don't burn nothing. And this is like a deep conditioner too. It, uh, but it protects your hair. It leaves that extra layer of protection. And they call this a toner or a rinse. And you can also put it in long hair like this too. It's not going to hurt you. Just watch out for your eyes. And once you get it in, you wait 25 minutes. Make sure you get your edges. But you want to put that oil because you don't want to accidentally. What's going to happen is this stuff is so strong that you, you want to make it even when you put it in. Because you don't want your edges to have like that. You know how when people get a black hair color, you see it, you know. So that's what the oil is to prevent from your skin dying. So just watch out for your eyes, y'all. Just want you to be careful. Any color, you want to be very careful. This is dangerous. Watch out for the walls, too. And the way that um, I've always cleaned this up to get this, I use comment. When you ever accidentally dye something with this stuff, comment always works. It gets it off. Or the Ajax, the, you know, the the dry bleach cleaner, it gets it off. Like So if you actually stain something, immediately put some comment on there with a little bit of water and it gets it off. Let it sit for a second, you know, the comment, put a little bit of water and, it, and the stain comes right off. But you got to do it immediately. Don't wait too long. Because this is considered like a stain, you know. So that's what it does, it stains stuff. So, yeah, this is the color I wanted. And this could go for two uses. It's like a half a bottle still left. Because I don't have that much hair. If someone with long hair, like to their butt or something, you might need two or three bottles of this. And it's not going to make it over processed or then You just want to make sure you, your hair is fully saturated or you're going to get a patchy look. Make sure you have enough. So depending on how much hair you have, is how much product you need. Like somebody that's white or Latina or just even a black girl who has hair to her but you know, you wanna um you wanna use um you wanna buy, you know, like uh two or three bottles. Now if you're just using it as a protectant, then maybe you could just get one bottle if it's just a clear one and just like do it like I'm doing, rub it all through let it sit for 25 minutes so now I'm gonna let it sit for 25 minutes you can also you said you can also use heat put a cap on it use heat if you want I'm not going to and like I said when my hair dried the pat the curl pattern came back so that was good and this is more better this is more professional so this is just, you know, to go back to, you know, you want to go your first day of work looking different than you got the job today. Yeah, scare everybody. Because you know? somebody always got something to say. So you just want to give them less to say. Just, you know, this is the color that I have. This is so pretty. I love it. I love it. This is what I wanted. And with a toner, you get a one even tone, you know? Even if you okay, if you like the blonde, you could always buy a yellow or a, you know toner, so that all of it can be an even yellow. This evens everything out. So I just rubbed it through there everywhere, y'all. And I still got a half a bottle left, you know. So, like I said, after five washes, if it washes out, I can use this and uh, redo it. So now you wait 25 minutes. And you reach out. So, because I don't hardly have no hair, so I get lucky. Those are the pros of having hardly no hair. And then you wanna rinse the cap on this Cause I had bought some black toner, jet black, but that was because I was going to wear some black braids when I did those red braids, but then I didn't even use it, so I'm going to use it. I used to use that on my daughter sometimes, black toner, 
You just give it a healthier look and it protects the hair. Nothing wrong with that. You can't do that. But it protects your hair. You look so healthy when you're in the, you know, in the sun and stuff and outside walking around. It does. It attracts attention as a hairdresser. It attracts people to you and you want attention. You know. So this is a way that you can get what you want, you know. If you like it, and it's not the exact color you want, a toner will definitely give you the exact color you want, especially if you like it that bright. I mean, that bright, I could have had, I could have turned it purple, green, any color I want with the toner. Um, Beijing is one of my favorites. Um, it works really great, and I like it. It's my it's like one of my favorites. Yeah. But this is a semi permanent. This isn't permanent, so make sure you guys read the bottles. Don't accidentally get permanent because, see, if you try to do a permanent dye on top of a um, lightener, that's two, um, two um, strong processes at one time. That's too much on the hair, you know, because when you put the, uh, like, say if you put a cut, like a permanent color like this in there, it may have a lightener in it. You don't know. They may have put, like, a booster in it to, like, in case your hair was dark to make sure this takes. So you don't know that. So it's better to just get a semi-permanent because it has no ammonia, none of that stuff. And that can, if you put a permanent on top of a bleach, which that's what the first process was with uh, bleach, um, um, your hair could fall out like that. So that's why I just put a toner because that protects my hair. So then, you know. But I'm really excited, y'all. It's the color I want. <laughs> this is what I wanted. And it smells. I smell this. I had to breathe in. Oh, it smells amazing, you guys. That's why I like this one. That was good. Argan coconut oil mixed inside of it smells amazing. So good. So good. Some people, um, like I said, you can go under the dryer for the 20 minutes if you want. Or you can put a plastic cap on and take the, um, the, um, there's, there's a part of the dryer that if you have the attachment part for the chemicals with the little points on it, and you can just on top of a cap just kind of do that or if you don't have that attachment just take a dryer and kind of go around on top of your shower cap and you can do that if you don't if you can't afford a sit under dryer you don't have one you want to do that and that makes the color last a little longer but I mean I um without the dryer it's still um it's optional you know it still takes very well and you can always go outside in the sun if you want to with it like you know you put a shower cap on or not, you can stand. If it's warm outside, you can go stand out there if you ain't got no dryer or nothing. You know, if you wanted to warm up some for t uh, 20 minutes and then come in and rinse out it, I mean, hey, you know, if you feel comfortable with people seeing you with this in your hair, I mean, it really, it really just looks like you have a lot of grease in there. It doesn't really look like you have uh, a rinse or a dye in there. You know, but it is on there. Or maybe on the edges a little bit. And just stand outside like on a warm day and let the heat because that's basically what it does the heat uh pull the color into the um into the hair Um, 
Oh yeah, I told y'all it comes in every color from yellow to blue to green, orange, um, pink, any color you want. And like I said, I have a job, so I can't do that right now. You know, my off, like, I mean, you can get it out too. Um, if you wash it, like, really, really a lot, but I don't recommend doing blue. And you know, you're only off work for three days, cause then you're really gonna have to wash your hair to get that blue off here. Especially if you put heat on it, they make it lock it in. <laughs> you want to go to work, go blue in, or you can just put a black toner over it. The toner isn't gonna damp. Too many toners isn't going to damage your hair, you know. So you could do that. That's the option, you know. Do the blue. You can put a black toner in. By the time the black rinses off and it turns back white, then you won't be able to see the blue at all. It'll just be blonde. But, you know, um, toner just sits on top of the hair. That's all it does. Eventually, it will rinse off and the, that, that other color will come back again. As you wash it, it will, um, it will lighten up. So, yeah, because I've had purple hair, I've had pink hair when I was in hair school. I had, um, at one point, I had half pink and half purple hair. Um, more orange looking hair, um, all different colors. So, <clears throat> you, can, you can get any color you want with those. And they have all different kind of brands, but... Um, this is one of my favorite ones, and I'll show you uh, in the future the other brands that I use. But we're on this brand right now, so I'm going to stick to that. And, oh, I just love the smell, because, see, all of them don't smell like that. Some of them have, like, this chalky smell. Like, I'm going to explain, like, they smell like, like, this has this weird smell to it. This one has immaculate smell. Highly recommend it, you guys, so. I should have started the video after I had everything out, so that would have been made it a lot better on y'all to be watching, you know? <laughs> that, cause there, that's an extra, um, that's some extra minutes, you know? Of, um, of time. But see how it's already have stained the gloves just by me putting it on there. So that's what it is. And the longer it sits, your hair just soaks up that coconut oil the, um, the different oils in um, in um, when I breathe in I can smell it but it's like I'm not breathing naturally But it has an awesome smell, so you would love that. You're like, you know, hey, your significant other, you get a hug after you washed it out, you're hugging them, you're sitting next to them, they're like, oh, your kids, they give you mommy, you smell awesome, you know, it smells really good. <laughs> and if your hair is already really light, um, like say you're born with a light color of hair, you don't have to use a, um, you don't have to use a, a bleach. You know, you don't want to do that because your hair's already light enough. You can just use a toner by itself. You don't have to bleach it to use a toner. So if your hair is light and you don't know, it's best to probably just try. The toners are so cheap. Like, well, it's $5.99. It's better to try it than to, oh, you know, bleach your hair when it's already light and then make it fall out. I mean, my hair, my hair wasn't already light. My roots were definitely a dark, dark black. So... That's what I was trying to do. Get the color I want. So, yeah. rub it through I mean you could do that with when you got long hair too if you want to just just make sure it's fully saturated though with that stuff because if not it's not going to take so that's what you want to make sure you do yeah 
It smells so good, you guys. Awesome. And, um, I mean, it doesn't burn or nothing. Feels good, you know. Smells good, feels good. I mean, if you want to, if you're in a hurry, you know, and you need, uh, you got somewhere to go, you can always, uh, rinse it out a little early. That's on you. But the color, like I said, you want the stain to last as long as possible. If you like, if you like that color and that's what you really want, or you want the color to just last you a long time, so... Yep. <clears throat> I know when I started, the video said seven minutes when I actually start putting the color on my hair. So, um, that would only be 20 minutes from the starting starting of the processing time. So, I'm just going to rinse it out. And, um, let's see. Seven. 20, when it gets to 27, that will only be 20 minutes. So, 27, 28, 29. 30, 31, 32, 34, 34. That'll be 34. Now, if it took me about, I guess, 15 minutes to put it on, so that could that could be an extra. You could wait, like you, you could wait like you're supposed to the whole 25 minutes. Which I'm not. I'm just going from the pro when I started the process. You don't. You usually just whenever you finish putting it in, you wait 25 minutes from there. For the last you longer, I'm gonna save money. We're trying to save money, people on budget like me, you know. So, we ain't trying to have to keep processing our hair no more than we have to. So, um, and you could do this anytime as much as you want. I mean, once a week if you want, or twice a week, no more than probably twice a week, you know, because I don't recommend it, but. You pretty much can do it as much as you want it. It's just, it protects your hair. It's not going to damage your hair at all. The toner. Now, as far as the bleach, you can't do that like that. You have to wait um, three to eight weeks, you know. And um, normally, it's um, about an inch to an inch and a half of new growth. Yep. So, I'm just doing that a shortened video up, watch it out when it says 34 minutes because I know y'all want to see and I know that our videos are long because I don't have an iPhone I used to have so um, I, don't, I can't really video edit nothing and I don't know um, so I just record them and put them directly on here. <laughs> So when it says 34, I just rinse it out and then I'm going to show y'all the outcome. And that will be it. <clears throat> and you don't really, you can, you know, with this in there already, you could like uh, still remember to spray your leave-in conditioner every day or like maybe put a little, like a little dime-sized amount of oil every day, you know, on there. I mean, if you forget, at least you got this layer of protection if you don't have time. Because sometimes time isn't always on our side. So, at least we've been put a layer of protection in case we don't even have any time. Because even, like, a white person, um, they also would need to put, like, when they have color, not their natural color, and they have bleached it, you still would need to have put, like, um, for them, a lighter oil, like, Moroccan oil or argan oil just like a little bit or either like some oil sheen just a little I'm not saying nothing to weigh your hair down because normally they wash your hair every day and um so just like something light even if they're shampoo make sure your sh if your shampoo says color um for color and stuff or your conditioner sometimes certain conditioners um have um have um oil in them the conditioner so that helps um but it doesn't matter what color you are you have you need to um whatever kind of moisturizer it, um, for, is for your hair like if you um most of the time a, a white person with straight hair their hair might be fine you know not all of them some hair people's hair is thick people with fine hair you know you of course you would use a very very light oil like a little pea size amount and remedy and it makes a big difference i mean it's better than your hair falling out and make sure that you if you're gonna if you blow dry your hair every day with color and stuff and you're flat ironing it um 
make sure you use a um, heat protectant uh, like spray or some type of um, blow dry serum to make sure that your so your color doesn't break your hair off because as much as we love color um, we have to take care of it so you know and then rinses they'll work doesn't matter what what color you are and all that they will it works on anybody a toner is a toner rinse you know it will change any any hair anybody's hair it will stick to anybody's hair <coughs> Find something to talk about during these um, these last four minutes. <laughs> Cause that's in, that's informative to you guys. That will help you guys. Mm. Also. That's like a, um, a wood color. I color um, wood. It's really cute. I like it. This is what I wanted. But eventually, as I wash it, it will come out. So. Normally, it can last for, depending on how many times you wash your hair, it can last for a week to a month. Just depends on how many. Some people don't wash their hair, so if you don't wash their hair, your hair is just gonna come out. It's not gonna come out at all. You have to wash your hair for it to come out in your hair. So like um, some people that wear braids and things like that and they don't wash it then it's not gonna come out. So until you wash it, that's when it starts to um, fade out. Okay, so um, now I'm going to be, since it's almost 34, I'm going to be getting, um, make sure my towel is where I can grab it. Because most people, they will wait probably seven more minutes, but because the video is just gets really, really long, I try to shorten the video up for y'all. So just make a, just added the process and time to it. Could have waited seven more minutes, but I the reason I'm not is because um, I know how to, you know, since I'm gonna make the video longer, and I don't have the the technology right now, you guys. I know how to use the technology, I just don't have it. So you wanna have your towel ready though, so that you can get ready to wash it out. And then I'm gonna show y'all how it came out. You don't have to use a shampoo or nothing. You can just rinse it with water, you know. If you, some people, if they want to lighten it, um, color up some, they'll just go on and shampoo it. Like if they say, well, it's like a little dark, you know, they'll shampoo it. But I, I recommend you washing it off and seeing first what the color looks like. Then if, if it's a little dark, just shampoo it one time. And then it'll, as you shampoo it, it's going to lighten up anyway. Okay, you guys, I'm going to rinse it out. And if you're using warm water, like hot water, you might use it up too. So if you want to keep the color longer, you use cooler water when you wash your hair. If you just love it and you want to save money, we're trying to save money. I'm washing it out now. Okay, I'm going to wash it out. Okay, I'm trying to save money. I don't know about y'all, but y'all probably got it. Going to the store and buy clean and say, I'm going to take my hair. 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 I'm
darker it's not as dark as dark as it was but it's darker than, it's dark like I wanted it darker so I like it I might do it again though with the blow dryer but for you know for the full 25 minutes but just not right now because I know y'all are trying to see what I did do to get the colors I want but yeah you rinse it till the water runs clear and then, but it's darker, just like I wanted it. I didn't want it that, that light. But I'm going to do one more process on it, just not right now. But it's that darker color that I wanted. It's a little light still, but um, it's darker. And I'm going to go do that process one more time. You know? And, um, yep, I like it a lot. Cause I don't like that. I don't want it too, too light. I want it to look exactly similar to what I had at my driver review. Cause that's how I got hired. They didn't see nobody with platinum hair at the end of it. So, yep. It's a lot better. It's a lot, lot better. I like that. Well, I'm going to do it one more time, you guys. And y'all see me when I come over here to do like my makeup and stuff how it um looks but it is darker and i like that because at first it was just so, so it had a yellow 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 tinge to it so yeah maybe um i mean like i said you can do it these as much as you want i don't recommend switching the color though uh, too many times like because if you mix two the wrong two colors it might not you know it might come out looking weird so i'm just gonna probably do this again maybe in a few days or just maybe tomorrow i don't know because i want it dark as possible but not too dark just that brown woodsy color i don't like it all light looking like a q-tip that's not cute but that's better than it was y'all so that's how it looks y'all get the idea uh, next time I do it, I'll be able to leave it in the full uh, 25 minutes. I just was trying to shorten up the time so that y'all could get the idea of what, what I'm doing. Okay. You might want to see the back too.
Thank you. Please comment and subscribe. Okay. Uh, and I showed y'all the color already. All right.